Mr Johnson, where will we get uniform and if we can't get it, can pupils wear their own clothes? Uh, the expectation is that all young people will come back to Auckland Harvey Academy in August, um, August 11th, wearing the full school uniform. Uh, and we're really keen that that's the case, primarily for, for security purposes. Um, our school will be open from Monday, the week beginning Monday the 4th of August for, for parents to come in and purchase the school ties. They'll be available from the, the front reception. And in doing so, we would ask that parents and carers abide by the social distancing rules uh, in our school building. Uh, I'm delighted to say that today, uh, available on our website and through the school Twitter account, uh, the, the access and the links for um, families who would like to, to inquire about free meal entitlement and also about the clothing grant. Uh, of course, supermarkets such as Asda, Morrisons, etc., Tesco and so on, will be selling school shirts and school uniform brands, but school ties certainly can be purchased from the school office, as I say, week beginning the, the 3rd of August. Our incoming primary sevens and your new first years have all been given ties today as part of their transition visit. And for any young person who is unable to attend the transition visit, we will of course be dropping them into their houses personally. Mr Johnston, um, we are, as a parent of a P7 um, pupil, do I have to reapply to get um, free um, school grants for food and for clothing? Or does it just continue from primary seven? Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't just continue over from primary seven uh, and the way that the system works is that all families have to reapply for both the free meal entitlement and of course the clothing grant uh, and I would actively encourage all families to do so uh, at the earliest convenience of course. If there are any issues accessing that uh, electronically then I would encourage them to get in touch with the school staff who they've been communicating with during lockdown and of course we can support them to do that. Um, the links for the both, both grants are now available on our school website. They've been put through our social media accounts and they are of course available from the North Ayrshire Council website. I think what I would also want to add here is that as a school we have our NA Plus, our new and pre-loved uniform service. Uh, and should any family feel the need to use that service, it's certainly available to them. And again, they would just have to contact the school who would put them in touch with Mrs Hopton, our principal teacher of family learning, who would be able to and quite gladly to support them in doing so. Yeah, as young people move into first year, Miss Davis, um, do you know exactly when the young people will find out what classes they're going to be in next year? Because as you can imagine, some young people are quite anxious about maybe not being in classes with their friends. I'm absolutely delighted to report that the transition team, which is myself, Mrs Booth and Mrs Scott, um, started planning and um, getting the children up. And this has been the first day, which is Thursday, um, where the children have actually come into the school and got a range of activities from a team of our staff. When they left, they got a goodie bag, and on the goodie bag was their class, um, what class they'll be in when they start in August. But the plan is the transition team will also follow that up with a letter to confirm what class they will be in, along with who their deputy will be, who their pastoral care teacher will be, and who their support for learning link will be. Some of the parents are very anxious, Mr Johnson, about pupils being put under um, pressure to catch up. Can you tell us what the school um, is going to do to support our children? Yeah. I think the first thing I would like to say here is that actually thank you. Thank you to all parents, carers and families who supported the young people during a very difficult time. Yeah, I know from first-hand experience with my own two children just how difficult it's been to, to accommodate homeschooling with the other you know, pressures of life. Yeah, I would encourage all families, as I have done with our primary seven pupils today, yeah, not to worry. Not to worry about how much or how little work they've managed to achieve over the three and a half months of lockdown. Um, our staff are excellent and they'll continue to work very, very closely with young people when we return in August. The, the primary priority will be their well-being uh, and their approaches to, to returning to school in terms of their mental and their physical well-being. But we will, of course, be keeping a very, very close eye on their actual learning in terms of literacy and numeracy and working closely with our staff to plug any gaps that may exist. But just to reiterate, be positive about what has been achieved over the course of lockdown and be confident that me and the staff in Auckland Harvey Academy will do all that we can uh, to make sure that gaps in learning are identified uh, and covered and adapted to over the course of the, of the year. This is a question about social distancing, especially if there's a family member that's shielding. Um, can you tell us what the school are going to do with regards to social distancing? Yeah, well, obviously come August time, um, we want all young people to be back in school and receiving their education in as much time as they possibly can be. Um, and we would hope that all young people would be in a position to do that. What I can say to all families, hopefully to reassure and provide some confidence there, is that our school building has been thoroughly uh, risk assessed. Uh, and we are, of course, following national government guidelines around the social distancing rules, which at the moment are two metres. Uh, that may, of course, change. 
um, the expectation will be that on the first day back all pupils will receive the information about exactly how to use the building safely, how the building will operate uh, and that will of course involve the two metre rule. Um, so I hope that provides you with confidence with regards to that and of course that will be monitored closely within the school, not just by, by teaching staff but also middle and senior staff in the school as well to ensure the maximum compliance. Uh, we're all thankful and grateful for the, the virtual transition which took place earlier on in the month of June. I wonder if you could reassure parents and tell us a little bit about what face-to-face -face transition is likely to take place. Once again, I'm absolutely delighted to say that the planning took place last week and we're having face-to-face -face transition with all of our new first years today and tomorrow. And uh, it means that the children can meet a range of staff but can also meet their deputy head teacher, their pastoral care teacher and also support staff. So that is taking place today and tomorrow. And I think the feedback we're getting so far is that it's maybe decreased the anxiety of children coming up to a new building and we're absolutely delighted with how the first day has gone. There might be instances where both parents are key workers. Um, Mr Johnson, can you tell us when you will know what days our child will be in school? Yeah, so at the moment we've been working our way through the various models of returning to school uh, and as part of those models we've obviously been identifying which pupils are going to fall into the various groups uh, of kids that will return over the course of summer of the week. Um, that information has just been finalised in the school just now and as I've been communicating in my weekly updates to parents so that we'll, we'll convey that at the right time. At the moment the plan is that all of that information will be given to young people and to their families on Wednesday the 24th of June and I don't foresee any reason why that would be delayed any further. So Group A, Group B and the breakdown of who's going to be in which group will be given on Wednesday the 24th of June.